Hello again, Brody Butler here with another Photoshop tutorial. This time on how to remove color casts and correct your white balance in Photoshop. Now when I take my photos, I don't set my white balance um, in camera. I, I will have it set to flash because I'm typically a flash photographer. But I'll use these grey cards and I won't actually set a full custom white balance in camera. I'll do that later on in Photoshop or Lightroom. And I'll be getting a lot of questions uh, from people on how I do that. It's really, really simple. Uh, let me show you. I have this image here of Lexi. Um, <laughs> when, I, when I usually do these photos is I'll get the models to pull a face or something just to have a bit of fun with it all and help loosen everybody up. And this image will basically be a reference point for me for the rest of the images in this set. So what I can do is I can, in Photoshop, go down and create a levels adjustment layer and using this eyedropper here, the one in the middle, which will be a middle grey value uh, eyedropper, I can then tell Photoshop what I think should be a middle grey value in this image. Obviously that's going to be my grey card that Lexi's holding up here. So all I need to do is click on this and automatically that warm colour cast that was over the image is now completely gone and the image is now looking a lot nicer, it's a lot more neutral and the colors look a lot truer to how they did on the day. Now in Photoshop, if you want to then apply this uh, white balance setting to other images, what you can go and do is up in the top, top right hand uh, corner of the levels adjustment, is you can go and save this levels preset. So I can just click that, and then I'll just save it as white balance, I've already got one there. So save that, yes replace, and that has saved your levels adjustment. And then what you can do later on when you bring another image in is, uh, let's just do an example here, I'll just delete this levels adjustment. So we'll go and create a new levels adjustment now. You can see my image is now warm again. Now what we'll do is we'll go up to here and we'll go to load levels preset. We'll find our white balance preset that we saved. There it is. So I'm going to open that and automatically you see it's applied that saved levels preset to this image and now my white balance is corrected. So that's what you can do for further images. Let me show you a quicker way for Lightroom users if you want to do it in Lightroom. So in Lightroom, you just go to your develop module and under your basic settings, you'll find this eyedropper tool here, which is the white balance tool. So we can just select that and do the exact same thing we did in Photoshop and click on this gray card that Lexi's holding. And instantly you can see that color cast is gone, our white balance is looking good. And the cool thing about Lightroom is that you can then go copy these settings and apply them to as many images as you like. And there's actually a way of doing this really easily. By selecting the image that I want to copy, I can then hold down the shift key and select all the other images that I want to change. You can see all these images here uh, are actually very warm as well. I've warmed them up for the purpose of this tutorial. So we've selected all the images I want to apply those settings to. Then all I do is click the sync button over here or hit command shift S and that'll give me this dialog and ask me what I want to synchronize. In this case, just the white balance settings and then click synchronize and automatically see all these images have now been synchronized to the same white balance settings. So it's a really quick batch processing um, option that you have in Lightroom to correct your white balance for all the images in that set. And that's what I use. So it's as simple as that guys. Uh, I hope you picked something up from this tutorial. Uh, head over to my blog at brodybutler.com uh, for plenty more Photoshop tutorials in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.